What is going on guys? Brutal Live back with another video and today this is the Week in Review episode 39. I cannot believe we're already on episode 39. Raw was pretty freaking good. I mean Raw's been just so bad in 2019. Honestly 2019 one of the worst years ever for Monday Night Raw in my opinion. You guys can let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but, but in my opinion, Monday Night Raw 2019, one of the weir worst years of all time. But yeah, their first uh, Raw of 2020 here, first draw of the decade, and it wasn't bad at all. I thought it was pretty good. So without further ado, we are going to get into it. So let's do it. Moving over here, Eric Rowan. So basically, it, the new thing is not Eric Rowan doesn't want anybody looking at his cage. Now he wants people looking at his cage. So yeah, he faced a local competitor. Uh, he forced him to look in the cage, and then some red mist sprayed on his face, and then Eric Rowan just destroyed this guy. But yeah, crazy. And the same thing happened sort of with Mojo Raleigh backstage. So yeah, Mojo walks up to Rowan. He's like, yo, Rowan, what's, what's in the cage? And then Rowan's like, you know, why not? You know, take a look. And then Mojo Raleigh looks in there. And he's just freaked out. He's like, what the heck is in there? And he actually looked through the, like, the little peephole. He saw what's in there. But I don't know why the interviewer doesn't go up to Mojo Raleigh and be like, yo, what was in the cage? So we can figure it out because Mojo Raleigh saw it. But yeah, what? it was crazy. Eric Rowan destroyed that jobber and freaked out Mojo Raleigh. Moving over here, No Way Jose versus Drew McIntyre. Or should I say No Way Jose and the Conga Lion versus Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre absolutely dominated the Conga Lion. No Way Jose got dominated by Drew McIntyre. Of course, Drew McIntyre did pick up the victory, and then after the match, he entered the Royal Rumble match. So yes, we will see Drew McIntyre in the Royal Rumble match. I'm really excited for the Royal Rumble this year. I think it would be amazing. I mean, there's so many potential returns. Oh, again, look out for prediction videos coming out on the Royal Rumble. Definitely look out for those, but yeah, I will get more in depth in those videos, but yeah, Drew McIntyre, definitely a possibility of winning the match, to be completely honest. I'm serious. Like, Drew McIntyre, an upper rising star, but yeah, here on Monday Night Raw, he did pick up the victory against No Way Jose, and then basically just assaulted him after the match. Moving over here, first match of the night, Rey Mysterio uh, versus Andrade for the United States Championship wasn't a half bad match. It was actually a really good match, to be honest. After I'm thinking about everything that happened right now, a uh, very amazing match. These two always put on a show. The con the ending was very confusing, and I think Rey Mysterio and Andrade did mess up the ending because Andrade was going for the um, Hammerlock DDT, and then I think uh, Andrade forgot that uh, Rey Mysterio was supposed to check on Selena Vega because uh, Selena Vega did get taken out mid-match. So I think they messed up the ending, but still uh, amazing match. I mean, I can't hate on it any more than that. I just need to critique, critique it a little. But yeah, otherwise, amazing match. And that brand new Selena figure is awesome. And uh, Andrade did pick up the victory. He did retain his U uh, U.S. title. So yes. Moving over here, Shelton Benjamin versus... Uh, uh, versus Aleister Black. Wasn't half bad. Obviously, Aleister Black picked up the victory. It wasn't my most favorite match, but the ending was pretty awesome. Uh, after Aleister Black won, he sat down out of nowhere. Buddy Murphy takes him out, gets him outside, assaults him, and then throws him right into the barricade, just assaulting him, basically, Buddy Murphy. And then after the fact, after he took out Buddy Murphy, no, after he took out Aleister Black, Buddy Murphy sits on the barricade just like that. Uh, another match that I don't have set up in here because I literally have none of the figures. Uh, the OC, which I do have, the Viking Raiders and the Street Profits, they had a triple threat tag team match for the Raw Tag Titles. And the Viking Raiders did pick up the victory. Again, I did not set that up because I only have the club and that would be kind of a weak setup. But yeah, um, it, it would be really cool to get Street Profit and uh, Viking Raider figures. But yeah, the match was pretty good. I really enjoyed that triple threat tag team match. And then uh, the club did lose. The Street Profits did lose, and the Viking Raiders retained their championships. But I definitely see in the future the Viking Raiders going up against one of those teams for the titles, which I'm really looking forward to. Moving over here, this was very confusing. Okay, so it was supposed to be Sarah Logan versus Charlotte. Charlotte's starting to enter. Here comes Sarah Logan, attacks her from behind, takes off the robe, just starts stomping on it. And then, yeah, Charlotte just goes off, and then she takes out Sarah Logan and then puts her robe back on. It was kind of dumb. Not my favorite part of the show, but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's all I have to say for that. Moving over here, Lana, Bobby Lashley, send to the ring. They get, they finally got married. That stupid priest came back or whatever. I don't even know what he is. I think he's like an official for marriage or something. But yeah, Lana and Bobby Lashley are finally, quote-unquote, married. And then Rusev pops up on the Titan Tron. And he, I don't know if WWE was trying to do this, but he, he was trying to say that he was on vacation on some beach, and it was so obvious that it was a green screen behind him. I really hope they were just trying to joke around with that. But yeah, um, Lana, Bobby Lashley. Lashley did get married, and then Rusev's like, I'm returning to Raw next week, and I want to go up against Bobby Lashley, and the Bulgarian Brutes returning, so that might mean that uh, the harsh, mean Rusev is going to come back, so that, that should be pretty interesting to see, and then Lana's going to be in Lashley's corner, and then Liv Morgan is going to be in Rusev's corner, confirmed.
Um, moving over here, Becky Lynch was doing a promo. She's like, I don't know if I could beat Asuka, basically because in the past she's never really beat her before. So, uh, yeah. And then Asuka comes out, starts talking Japanese, nobody under and nobody understands her. Becky Lynch punches her right in the face. That was okay. Not half bad. Um, moving over here, AJ Styles and Kira Tozawa. In the beginning, when they came, when Akira Tozawa came out, I'm like, oh, who's Styles going to be facing? Randy Orton, maybe? No, it's going to happen next week. But um, Akira Tozawa, AJ Styles. And I, at first, I wasn't really excited. But this was pretty good. Ran, uh, AJ Styles did hit a um, Hangman's DDT. And he also hit the, a wicked RKO on Akira Tozawa. And then he did the pose at the top rope. I just thought that was so cool. Because it's just somebody different doing like the RKO. I just thought that was so interesting. Very cool there. Uh, moving over here, it was the AOP and Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe. And the entire show, they were building up that they have a mystery partner. And that mystery partner was the big show. This match ended in a disqualification. Uh, the AOP used a steel chair on the big show. Big show got rid of the AOP. Kevin and Owens and Samoa Joe beating the crap out of each other on the outside. Big show knockout punch to Seth freaking Rollins. Such a great way to end the show. I love that, man. And I love to look at that Seth Rollins figure right there. That's the Elite 70, I think, with the um, uh, little uh, Elite uh, vest on there. The Elite Seth vest. But yeah, very cool. Big show returning. Knockout to Seth Rollins. Very cool. Hopefully we, we can see more of the Big Show too, because I am a big fan of the Big Show. Moving over here, Brock Lesnar, Paul Heyman, beginning of the show. Basically, just doing Paul Heyman's normal speech. Not a prediction, not a spoiler, you know. Uh, but very interesting how Brock Lesnar is going to be entering number one in the Royal Rumble. Paul Heyman confirmed that in this promo, but is it for the title? Is it not for the title? They were very un, like, un, um, they didn't really explain that too well. Like, is this going to be for the title? Because Brock Lesnar is obviously the WWE champion, and he entered the Royal Rumble, which not a lot of champions normally do. They have done in the past with the title on the line, but uh, very interesting to see them doing this. And uh, Brock Lesnar, yeah, again, not sure if it's going to be for the title, uh, but yeah. It doesn't have to be. I mean, I'm just wondering if it is. But yeah, guys, that was Monday Night Raw. I thought it was a pretty good show. Uh, yeah, now we're going to get into SmackDown. Stay tuned to the rating at the end, and let's get into SmackDown. And here we are with SmackDown continuing with the Week in Review. Let's hop straight in. Moving over here, Miz TV. Special guest John Morrison, Miz's former tag team partner back in the good old days of WWE. Uh, somehow we went, we um, somehow got to a one on one match between Kofi Kingston and The Miz. A little controversy going on there. New Day come out, interrupt Morrison and The Miz. Uh, and then, yeah, we get to Miz, Kofi Kingston. Miz ends up picking up the victory with a huge assist from John Morrison. Love how John Morrison is back. Mike's skills are still on there. Mike's skills are still up there. His wrestling ability. Just from the one move that I saw him do off the steel stairs, all there. I I cannot wait for this guy to be in the Royal Rumble. I cannot wait for this guy to get into a real rivalry, even though he kind of is with the New Day right now. But yes, Miz did pick up the victory over Kofi Kingston, which is very surprising. But not really because Kofi Kingston did beat him last week. But yeah, pretty good match, pretty good way to open up the show with, of course, John Morrison returning. And yeah, super cool. Moving over here, Bailey. It was supposed to be Sasha Banks versus Lacey Evans. And then Banks supposedly wasn't at the show. She was like somewhere doing like her rap album. So Bailey pops up on the Titan Tron. She's like, yeah, Bailey ain't. And she's like, yeah, Sasha ain't here, Lacey, so you're not getting your match. Lacey hops out of the ring. She's like, I'm not taking that garbage. She goes backstage, takes out Bailey, and then gets held back by security. Or was it a referee? It doesn't really matter. But yeah, so yeah, definitely in the future, uh, we should be seeing a Bailey versus Lacey Evans match for the SmackDown Women's Championship, uh, more than likely at the Royal Rumble, which I am looking forward to. Uh, and that was not half bad. Moving over here, it was Elias. He did a little performance in the center of the ring. Honestly, not one of his best performances. Uh, honestly, nothing really rhymed. Uh, I didn't think, again, didn't really think of it as one of his best performances. And I like when he disses the crowd. I like when Elias is a heel, man. Like, he could diss the wrestlers, but also diss the crowd. I think that's awesome when he does that. But, yeah, it was an okay performance. Nothing crazy, though. Uh, moving over here. It was Mandy Rose versus Alexa Bliss. This, uh, oh yeah, with Nikki Cross and Sonya Deville on rank side, of course. This ended with some controversy. Otis, of course, Mandy Rose is like, well, not really boyfriend yet. But uh, of course, uh, of course, you guys know what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, Otis comes out, distracts Alexa Bliss for a certain amount of time. Mandy Rose able to capitalize with a roll up one, two, three, wins the match with a big, huge assist from Otis. And yeah, that wasn't that bad. I really like this new like this new storyline with Otis and her. I think it's way better than Bobby Lashley and Lana. That's all I'm saying. Uh, moving over here, uh, Braun Strowman, Shinsuke Nakamura. Not for the Intercontinental Championship, but again, definitely look forward to that. 
probably at the Royal Rumble Intercontinental Championship match between these two. Uh, but yeah, they did have a match here tonight. Braun Strowman picking up the victory, and that is awesome to see that brand new Survivor Series Shinsuke. That video is coming to the channel. Stay tuned. But yeah, that new Survivor Series Shinsuke looking awesome. Again, these two went at it, center of the ring. Of course, Sami Zayn and Cesaro interfering in this match left and right, but Braun able to bounce back and take out everybody. Running power slam to Shinsuke Nakamura, and he did pick up the victory. Again, not for the Intercontinental Championship, but of course, in the future, I can see us getting another one of these matches and Braun maybe winning the Intercontinental Championship. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, moving over here, the final part of the show, it was... Or, well, well, it kind of happened. So it was Baron Corbin and Dolph Ziggler versus the Usos in the main event of the show. Pretty good match up until... Roman Reigns got himself disqualified by hitting, or got the Usos disqualified by, hit, by hitting a spear on Baron Corbin, who was in the match. So that got the Usos disqualified. I was like, wait, what's going on here? And then uh, Roman Reigns and the Usos just start getting assaulted by Dolph Ziggler and Baron Corbin. And then Bobby Roode makes his return because, of course, weeks, like last year, I could say now, Roman Reigns did take him out. He he claps the announcer's table over him, sent him through the barricade, put him out of action for weeks again. I could say last year now but yeah um Roman Reigns he did get the announce table put on him by all these three men all these three men again Baron Corbin Ziggler Bobby Roode they took out the Usos they took out Roman Reigns it was brutal but yes guys and look at those figures back there Woo! stay tuned for a video coming to the channel I still gotta find the Macho Man and Lita but yeah very I do have hope I think we are gonna find those figures but yes guys this has been the week in review really if you guys enjoyed uh, de uh yeah Raw this week I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I thought it was good. I mean, I haven't been given Raw an 8 out of 10 in such a long time since since I've started the weekend review. But yeah, I thought Raw was pretty good. 8 out of 10. Uh, SmackDown, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 as well. I thought it was a pretty good show. Of course, heels end in the show. Pretty good controversy throughout this. Elias' performance wasn't that good. Love the Mandy Rose and Otis thing. I think that's awesome. John Morrison return, obviously amazing. But yes, guys, that was a really good review. Really, let me know what you guys thought about the shows in the comments down below. I'd love to know. And I'll see you guys next time. Brutal Live. Out.